Right then, Jack. Well, let's start with hope, hope to see from you. Is a bit of consistency. Your marks range from in the teens to the thirties to the fifties. Um, one in the mid sixties, which was really encouraging. But then last week you were back in the forties. So you really need now to start building these marks toward a grade C. However, this is a difficult paper. So let's see how you've got on. Okay, you've missed 25 out of there. So you're only going to get one mark there. And that's right. So you get 10 out of 11 for on that first question. That's good. For this one, that's all I need. Okay, don't worry about doing this bit. It's just um, an estimate. Okay, so you're only going to get one mark for that. But then there, so you get 10, 15, 16 out of 18 on that first page. That's good going. That's good. Now, what are you going to do with this? So, what you should be doing there is coming up with a table for me, okay, which is going to look something like that, where you're tallying up um, to get your totals. All right. Now it's not telling you to do that. So so long as you've got 16, 7, 9 and 8, it's actually fine. Okay. So you're going to get the you're going to get the um, the four marks for this. What you need to bear in mind is you have to label these, okay? So you would need to write frequency or number of times for that. Disc color here. Okay, so out of those six marks, you're going to lose one mark because you haven't labeled your axis. The mode is not eight. The mode is what happens more than anything else, which is blue which happens 16 times. That's good for that. The perimeter is not 30. So you've got 9 and 9 and 3 and 3 and 6. So I'm seeing 6, but there are two 6s. There's, there's that one and that one. You've only added one of them. So you are going to get one mark for finding the six, one mark for adding them together, but you lose your answer mark. You should be able to do that. Um, all you're doing is working out the area of two rectangles. That rectangle there is going to be three times nine, and then this smaller rectangle is going to be three times six, and add them together, and then give me the units. Seven, nine for the page. Right, so what have we got here? 24 seats in a row. Uh, but you are then doing 24 times 18. So you were saying that um, they only need one meter gap between them. But the question is saying there's two meters between them. So you're not going to get that mark. In fact, you will get one mark for the 24 seats in a row. You'll get a method mark for multiplying, but nothing else. That angle's wrong, as is that angle. But you get one mark for forming a triangle. And obtuse is right. So four marks on that page. Okay, well, watch my video clip. We will do some volume work next week, hopefully. Correct, 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 good. That's correct. 7 and 16 win. So 16 lots of 80p. £128. Three pound profit, very good, very good, and that is an 
excellent page. 12 marks there is good going, Jack. Don't think anybody's got full marks on that page yet. That's good. That's good. That's good as well. Well done. That's wrong. Uh, the 12 12 is right. Well done. Uh, but he then doesn't have to wait 1 hour 10 minutes. He has to wait 10 minutes. So that's wrong. 7 for the page. Uh, and that's wrong. That's good. Um, it isn't 7, it's 7 times 2 because we've got a 2 as common as well as the 7 common. So you get 14 there. Uh, 3 for the page. It is a pentagon. So that's good. 74, 68, and 38 is remarkable. Um, and a bit suspicious. <laughs> 6 there. Uh, not sure how you got those, but um, the fact that they're right means you get the marks. And that's correct. 54 minus 63 is not 11. It is 9. 4n um, is worth one mark there. Okay, but you should write it as 4n, not n4. And with this one, that needs to come to there. And then it's right. So two four for the page. This is good. This is good. Right. 16, 20, 29, 33, 36, 48, 55, 58, 68. Wow. Well done, Jack. Um, I'm going to stick to my guns and say that's a D. I'm going to say it's um, two marks from us grade C. But in reality, that was a really hard paper, and you would have got a C uh, back in 2012, sitting and getting that mark. So that's really encouraging. Let's see if you can maintain it.